Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to print images out on the screen. Pretty sweet. So it's pretty much like one step away from actually downloading and saving them. Actually what I can do is store this in a variable. Username and set this equal to username and then we'll just pass it in. Be a little bit better. Let me save this and make sure I didn't mess anything up and then we'll get on with the tutorial. Alright, looking good. So anyways, as promised, let's go ahead and learn how to print images out on the screen. Just to verify to the user that, you know, maybe you want to show them the images that they are indeed saving and downloading. So we'll just put print, actually we'll just put like, uh, yeah, print out images on the screen and the function name for this print images and of course we didn't get that user ID for nothing so let's just go ahead and pass that in and we can actually pass it in right now user ID is equal to that user ID and actually we can return this now now that we know that it works we aren't just printing it out on the screen so basically we're gonna return the user ID which is in this case right here and then we're gonna store it in the variable user ID how convenient is that and then we will just go ahead and print the images out on the screen through the use of the user ID so you know it actually knows whose images to print so the first thing that we need is a URL and if I copy the first part of this where are you at? right there so let me close that up it's annoying me alright so the URL to get images is users slash and then you type the um, the user ID and actually I'll just do all this right now instead of putting those stupid X's alright so users slash user ID now the next parameter that we need or the next uh, directory is media that's where all of the images in uh, photos are and we want recent and that's pretty much just how you sort them and now for this you just put your client ID so recent and then we're just gonna put one second someone's at my door alright what did we have to do okay where the heck are we okay recent question mark client ID just steal this right here And of course, we'll just set this equal to the client ID, which is client ID. Now, one other parameter that we actually want is how many pictures do we want to retrieve? And for this, we can just append one other parameter, which is count. So if you use ampersand count, if you actually set this value to negative one, it's going to get all of your pictures. It's not going to be like, you owe me a picture. So negative one means all your pictures, but I'm only going to want to return five because if I download all of my Instagram pictures every single time, then, uh, well, it's not going to be fun. So let me make sure this is right. Users, user ID, media, recent, question mark, client ID, client, and with a parameter. All right, so this looks good right here. So now that we have the URL, of where the information is and what information we're requesting we can just go ahead and do this we'll store an Instagram info again connect the Instagram with the same URL and we can actually use this one right here too which it's encoded right now so we're just gonna store the results in this nice little variable called results and now here's the thing and here's what why this is different See, before we were just getting one piece of information like the username, the user ID, but now we're getting a bunch of pictures, which means that there's a bunch of information stored in this results. It's now a results set. 
So what we need to do is actually parse through this result set and handle each of the pictures one by one. So in order to do that, I'm just going to make a for each loop. And the parameter for this is the results data because there's actually a bunch of information in each. And we're just going to treat it as items. So now, essentially, each of those images is now a variable called items. And actually, I'm going to put parse through results or parse through images, whatever you want to say. Now, the first thing that we want is the URL of the image. So I'm going to store this in a variable called image underscore URL. And I'm going to set this equal to the item. The items, and I'll sh tell you guys what the parameters are. Images, and I'm going to put low underscore resolution right here. And this is going to give me um, a small, it's like a little bigger than the thumbnail. It's probably like 200 by 200 pixels, if I'm going to guess. Um, there's also standard resolution, and there's one other one I think. I can't think of right now. But standard resolution is a little bit bigger. But, you know, just for this example, low resolution, you're going to be able to see it just fine. And the last one is the URL. And now, what this is, is basically it's going to go through all my results, which is pretty much my five most recent pictures, and it's going to give me the URL of those. Now, eventually what we're going to be doing is saying, okay, PHP, go to this URL, save the picture, and store it on my server. But for right now, we can just echo it out using HTML. So echo, and of course, anytime you want to echo out, um, actually, you can just do it like this. Echo image source equals image URL. Actually, I don't want to do it like that. echo image URL and then I'm just gonna I don't even think I need to do that in HTML5 and then just break that so source clean this up a bit alright so hopefully what happens now is we already called this function and we print images it's going to say print the images of this user. So it's going to say, okay, you gave me the user. I'm going to go get the images. And for each image, I'm going to give you a list of them, loop through them, and print them out one by one. And we probably messed something up as usual. Nah, I got a good feeling about this. But now you have to go back to the beginning because your code actually expires from time to time. So it's always good to go back to the beginning whenever you're testing out and check it out and since I uh, broke those at the end using this line right here um, that's why they're printing on a new line for each one but these are basically the last most recent five images I posted I was at a hockey game I was wearing this with my sister some random girl sent me a picture and this funny thing from uh, Breaking Bad I posted so those are my five most recent images so now that it's working and we pulled them from the Instagram database properly what we need to do now is write one more function and that is save the picture on your server so we're gonna pass it in this URL right here and we're gonna say okay go to this URL take the picture save it on the server it's actually a lot easier than you guys think so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and well I'll see you next time